It is 25 degrees outside. That's the little kerosene heaters down there clicking away. I just shut it off. What we've got here, it's actually two small layouts hooked together. Uh, that's to be determined. Uh, this uh, has changed ideas three or four times. I'm going to uh, I'm going to disconnect this group of switches, turn this one towards the coal mine. Then I'll work out a group of switches from this line that will tr work into the steel mill. But this is how far we've gotten. Uh, I don't have the lights hooked up. I'll uh, I'll turn that on there in a bit and we'll figure that out. We've got another all oh, hundred trees in parts in the house that we're going to work on. We uh, we made a lot of these. A lot of these are store-bought. And some of these are 100% natural. That is the autumn sedum dried the stems, uh, cut and dried, and then we uh, glued it on the, the uh, tree over the age. These are store-bought, excellent uh, Woodland Scenics uh, birch trees. I've got a couple more of those in the can that we're going to put around the little log cabin. We made all of these trees. Some from store-bought armatures, some from scratch. Some are store-bought trees, uh, these funky-looking little pine trees. These <laughs> these are excellent. Uh, I'm, this is under construction, as you can see. Uh, those, uh, those are those uh, pines from the Philippines. Really cool. So, yeah, this is the, this is on natural over here to farm. Going to have a field, uh, some crops. Going to be uh, the stream coming through here. Then there'll be a little industrial area over there. We've got so many figures in the box and the livestock. This is my, my wife's the animal person. And uh, so she's, she's going to really enjoy putting that together. There's, oh, 100 pieces of livestock. There's 200 figures. There's 50 cars. <laughs> we'll figure out where to put them. I've been collecting this stuff for a long time. Over here, what I've done, you some of you have seen my mechanical motorboat. That uh, there's a little pond on top of here and a little motorboat that goes around this uh, magnet on a bicycle chain. What I'm going to do is this this split here. If you want, you go stay on the main line, or you can switch over to the loading dock for the. Uh, canal barge. There's going to be a water weight. I'm going to put two inches of, or excuse me, four inches of foam around most of this, two inches up to this point, and then a one inch on top of here, there's going to be a, a wharf and a, a loading area for the barge. And I I don't know what to do with these switches with the, with the center. And this one, this side's going to be more about waterway than and roadway, now that we've figured out the mechanicals on this uh, cane drive uh, mechanism, that's going to do a lot. There'll be, uh, there'll be canals, there'll be little valleys. Uh, some of it will just be plastered back to hole. Uh, a lot of rock. Uh, we're sticking with that granite black-gray color. It is New England after all. And that's where we're at on this side. Nobody knows where Rosemary goes. And nobody knows like me. I'll dim that one a little bit. It's kind of bright. It's really splashing out there. Gavin. It's really cool. I'm going to dim that a little bit. It's, it's showing higher than it is in real life. And it's the only light in the plan. And the house. We got rid of all the foundation light leaks. That's again, that's light splashing out the front door. We'll probably put some kind of muting something on there. Well, that's uh, that's the lights on the farm out of the farm. Pretty good. Mm. We're coming along over here. My wife and I are, uh, we're diorama artists. We're not really train operators. Swope Park Zoo notwithstanding, you can count the number of train rides I've had on one hand. So we're about making trees and putting trees into our diorama. 
We made uh, 40, 45 new trees over the last week. And we'll place them over here. As you can see, I've made radical changes over here after decorating. And that is uh, one of the benefits of the snap track, like, uh, like the Bachman Easy Track, the Cato. Uh, several companies make a good snap track. Everybody cries about these Bachman switches. We're going to work that out. But there we go. We're going to uh, go back to that idea of the abandoned railway coming out of the coal mine. We're going to overgrow the coal mine. But Ness has decided that this is actually uh, the Wonka Chocolate Works. So <laughs> we're going to have uh, bottled cars full of chocolate over here. Over there. It's really going to go nuts. Uh, I got the uh, more eighth-inch styrene, and I'm, I think I figured out the water. But the thing I read yesterday said that uh, use plaster, put plaster cloth on your surface, and then color it, and then put your water on. So uh, we'll try that shortly. There'll be a crazy update coming uh, at the first of the year. This is that welding circuit from uh, Evan Designs. Uh, I will have to change the battery once in a while. That's battery operator. How are you gonna do that? Oh look, this is the top of the building that I never glued down. I put the little switch right there. And come back. And then, And there you go. I will fasten that light up against one of these stanchions and uh, so it'll be brighter from the room. There you go. So here's where we'll start 2024 at. I repaired the decoration up to where we've got to still lift the switches a little bit, drill the holes, drop those leads through. But we're working on the little waterway over here. I built this pile of debris of rubble that we will decorate slowly. And then I put try to put rubble at each place where it might stall. Then uh, we're going to have small puddles in the depressions and it'll trickle down a little bit from behind the coal mine. We decided to go with the abandoned railway to the coal mine. It'll just end there. We'll build uh, some scenery turf bushes on top of that and there'll be a nice little abandoned uh, trestle there and of course the farm is all wired lit up ready to go the uh, welding circuit in here will be enhanced with three or four other different lights but i've got to uh i've got to get another power supply for the uh, woodland scenics just plug because the one under the barn has all four of its uh, outputs uh, filled. And that would be a really long fish to put wire from the barn to the end of the chocolate factory. That'd be about four and a half, five feet. So we won't try that. We'll just drop another power supply there. There'll be uh, lots of light coming out of the Wonka works. And uh, there's a lot of uh, industrial type equipment and debris and such and animals to go there. So that's where we're at over there, over yonder. But in Fantasia, oh, this is all the trees we built last uh, last week. Over here, we I'm changing all this around. I showed you the contours. The canal barge, the chain drive canal barge is going to make a loop all the way around this section and the pond will be back there and on different elevations. The uh, the roadway, the, the uh, two lane highway will go between these two tracks. We're just going to use uh, that uh, eighth inch styrene. We'll build a styrene platform and then uh, install all the mechanics under the styrene and it'll go across there. This will slope off into town. We're not gonna do we're not going to do much of a downtown. There'll be a few buildings that we're going to take that switch out and just put a turn 
that ends here. There's no such thing as a railroad T. So we'll uh, we'll just end the downtown there with a few buildings. The park will be back there with the pond. And then we're doing all right. It really, this uh, group of trees, we made 45 new trees. That'll really crowd this up with trees over here. And again, I'll finish redecorating here when we uh, drop those switches. And again, there's some pieces I need to... Uh, I've got a tiny level that I put on top of the buildings to make sure they're they're uh, square, plumb. This one, the uh, one of the pieces of the siding came off. Oh, that's easy to fix. Those are all easy to fix. I got a bunch of junk that I'll scatter around. I've got an old IMEX solid resin garage. We'll work in there. We've got to work out a way to park the cars, a road to get them in there and such. And again, a lot of livestock coming behind the fence. Yeah, things are looking up in Kicking Horse, Connecticut. I know, we buy a lot of things off the shelf and put them on our model railroad. I buy from eBay, I buy from Hog Heaven in Sturbridge, and I love to go to train shows. The big, uh, at the Big E, is coming up end of this month, so there'll be some bargains there. There aren't many real bargains anymore because the hobby is starting to kind of catch back on. A lot of new technology, robotics, 3D printing, uh, Part of my whole idea over here is to get the kids, the, the computer geniuses that know how to work all that stuff, to help make trains with it. Uh, that's why I built that motorboat, and I'm going to build that canal boat that'll go uh, and a, on a two-lane highway that I'll run on, on uh, magnetics on a bicycle chain system. I've, I've showed you that thing. So that's it. The, uh, everybody asked, why did you destroy your really beautiful... Uh, Malamite, Masonite, hardwood. Why'd you uh, get it all gooby? Well, when I put this on there, I, it was supposed to be temporary. These, uh, I've got some really neat black hardware to uh, to finish it with. But I knew I was going to have to be able to get around the table. So that's why I built this wall. But there'll be a bigger wall with contours, with different levels that go all the way around. And, uh, Come out there. So yeah, that's that's what we're going to shoot for in 2024. We're going to try to finish this thing. Again, the whole idea is to show people how you can get stuff off the shelf. Granted, it's expensive. Some of these lit houses, lit buildings are a hundred bucks, but uh, it's worth it. A lot of guys, a lot of mo master modelers, who know how to build these things, uh, kind of. Uh, make it look uh, look too difficult and too time consuming. A lot of people don't have uh, 35 years to build a train set. Uh, I built, I started this about, oh, a little over a year ago. And uh, this is where we're at today. And again, all those trees over here are really going to make this just pop. And lights in uh, two different corners, it's gonna glow. I'm all excitable, huh?